ahead of the governorship primary of the All Progressive Congress in Edo State on Monday. The party has dismissed the order gazetted by the state government that political parties must obtain approval of the governor to hold any political gathering. The APC maintained that it did not require a permit from the state governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, to hold direct pass primary as it preferred mode of choosing candidates for the September 19, 2020 governor election in the state. Obaseki had in a gazette signed on May 28th and published on June 5th banned political gatherings that could make direct primary possible in the state, stipulating that only indirect primary could be held in the state and in only one location, Benin City. The other partly reads that in respect of political gatherings for the purpose of conducting primaries for any of the parties desiring to feed candidates in the forthcoming gubernatorial election, gatherings of more than 20 persons may be allowed, subject to the written approval of the governor. If such gatherings do not exceed 5,000 persons, hold in Benin City and in a single facility with a large seating capacity of not less than 10,000 persons are provided with adequate health, safety and sanitary facilities and are COVID-19 response compliant with social distancing policy, hand washing and proper use of face masks fully observed. The governor had explained that the law was in line with the determination of his administration to stop the spread of COVID-19. But the APC argued that it was a political move to stop it from conducting its direct primary to choose its candidates. The Independent National Electoral Commission had revealed that of the 15 political parties participating in the election, 14 chose indirect primary, while only the APC chose direct primary. But responding to Sund Sunday Punch's inquiries on Saturday, the APC acting national chairman, Abiola Jimobi, who spoke through the national vice chairman, South South Hilliard Eta, said in a telephone interview that the APC, as a law abiding party, believed that only the federal government was currently empowered to enact the kind of order Godwin Obaseki gazetted. He said, under the law, as it is operational in Nigeria today, it is only the federal government that has powers to make laws under a pandemic such as the coronavirus as we have it today. The gazette that Obaseki has signed says not more than 50 persons can gather. In any case, since we now have only one aspirant left, we don't have to have any permit to conduct a uh, affirmation. All we need to do is to ask the question, do you want Pastor Ize Yamu? Yes or no? Finish. If he or Baseki likes, let him say people should not gather at all. We will do the affirmation in the various houses of our members. One of our correspondents had also gathered from sources that the two other aspirants cleared by the party screening committee, Osaro Obaze and Dr. Pius Udubu, had withdrawn from the primary leaving only Pastor Ize Yamu in the race. But in his response, the governor, through his media advisor, Mr. Kuzu Osagi, told Sunday Punch that the Gazette was still in force and would be enforced. He said the state was prepared to ensure that every gathering in the state complied with the COVID-19 prevention protocol. He explained that there was nothing politi political about the law, saying it was meant to protect the people of the state from deadly diseases. According to him, as a reasonable leader, Obaseki owed it a duty to the people and res residents of the state to protect them from unnecessary exposure to diseases, especially during, the, during a pandemic such as the one being experienced across the globe. He also explained that as of 9 p.m. on Saturday, the relevant agencies of the state had not received any request for a permit from the APC. Osage stressed, we have not received any request for a permit by the APC to hold primary. The state gazette is still in force and will be enforced. It is a requirement. The APC governorship primary holds on Monday, June 22nd, while that of the PDP is scheduled for Thursday, June 25th, 2020. The Edo State Police Command on Saturday said the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, had on the request of the same Commissioner of Police, Johnson Kukumo, 
approved the deployments of policemen in the state for the conduct of the primaries. The police public relations officer in the state, Mr. Chidi Huabuzo, told one of her correspondents in an interview that the state had received two detachments of police mobile force from Delta and Bayesa State, noting that some were already in Benin City while others are expected. He, however, did not disclose the number of policemen for the primaries. He said the Edo State Police Command is ready to ensure that there are peaceful primaries and in doing that, adequate security arrangements have been made by the Commissioner of Police, Johnson Kukumo. He's not doing it alone is working with the Nigeria Army, Nigeria Air Force, Department of State Services, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps in the state. Critical stakeholders have been reached. We have 192 words, words in Edo State, and the tactical team teams from command levels we move to these words according to their posting. Also, the head of public relations NC, nscdc edo state command mr ifosa ugbebo said the command would make us make use of armed and unmarked personnel for the exercise he added we do not disclose the number of personnel for security reasons however we have deployed adequate personnel both armed and unarmed as well as intelligence for the party primaries we are fully on the ground with the other security agencies to ensure that the exercise is carried out peacefully. Meanwhile, Governor Godwin Obaseki on Saturday appeared before the People's Democratic Party screening committee at the party's national headquarters in Abuja for the state governorship election. Obaseki, who was disqualified alongside two others by the APC screening committee on June 12, over what the committee termed as discrepancies in his names and certificates and for taking the, taking the party to court to hold journalists after the exercise that he presented copies of his certificate to committee. Hmm. Asked the certificate he presented to the committee, the governor said the screening was fair. It was very professionally done. Uh, you could see objectivity and I presented all my certificates, my secondary school, higher school, university and my national youth service course certificate so that they can look at it and see if there are consistencies in them and you can ask screening committee if there are any inconsequences inconsistencies on in any of them the people's democratic party governors forum has assured obaseki and his supporters that the party will provide a level playing feed for them as they extend their support for him. The forum led by Governor Aminu Tambua of Sukutu State in a statement by its Director General CID Madwambu in Abuja on Saturday wished him success. The statement said, We welcome you to the PDP Governor's Forum under the leadership of His Excellency Right Honorable Aminu Waziri Tambua, CFR and all other PDP Governors in the forum. Your entry into the PDP family is a welcome, is a, is a homecoming to a democratic platform that accommodates all Nigerians' disasters of good governance, accountability, and deepening of democratic tenets. Hmm. So, guys, I think uh, the main thing here is a uh, that is that it's only uh, is a Yamu that is left in APC to conduct uh, this uh, primaries, and I don't know maybe <laughs> they, that means there will be no primary if there's nobody is contesting with, and the governor who has gone to a, a PDP said they must follow the protocol, everything must be done, and they are daring him that there is no need that that the governor does not have the state governor does not have the power to uh, enact any law or for them to take permission that they don't have to do that that. He can do whatever he likes. That's why they are daring him. But uh, one thing I just want to ask, if we look at PDP and APC, of course, people have been saying they are same, same. There's no difference between the two parties because they are like brothers and sisters. They can move anywhere. If your brother offends you, you go to the other side. If your uh, sister offends you, you go to the other side. That is how they have been ruling. But in the real sense, if we want to look at PDP and APC, you know, looking at their antecedents because one thing, like they always say, that it is a interest, uh, self, uh, the it is a permanent interest that matters. No permanent enemy or or friends. 
But the question now is that if we want to look at this whole thing holistically, because uh, one thing, in what area can we say these people are the same? That what do they really have in common? Or which one is even better? I would like to know in the comment section because looking at these people, because one thing that we all the the, the uh, people always accuse the PDP of is this corruption, and they, are we now both to say that oh there's no corruption in APC, and if this one is better, if APC is better or PDP is better, in what area can we say oh this this one is much better? Of course, like they always say that uh, among the two evils. At least you'll be able to choose one. <laughs> Someone will tell you, say, none of them is better. That Nigerians should go for third phase, third force, or third uh, party. Okay. Someone says, uh, it is all, it is, it's all over for APC in Edo State. Obaseki will soon know where power resides. Of course, Buhari is too soft. Can any governor try Obasanjo and his party when he was president? Okay. Uh, someone else reply that a uh, attire for the that our president to two subs if obaseki is a ma is man enough let him allow apc to hold their primary this is the time we will know who is who in a do state obaseki is a coward because a coward will always have excuse to avoid himself from contest obaseki is just a toothless dog who can't bite empty barry make the loudest noise okay and allow coronavirus to spread because uh, Obaseki is a coward. That was, that's the question somebody is asking here. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comments below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.